Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I just wanted to take and share a few thoughts about spending money to make some money. Uh, now, this is kind of a loose term, terminology that gets thrown around quite often. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's just an excuse to spend money, and uh, sometimes it's actually the cold, hard, honest truth. And so I'm going to hopefully try to dispel some of that and kind of kind of debunk, kind of give some light, really, if you will, on what it means to spend money to make money. So really, it's not spending money, it's investing money. It's investing money wisely in order to make more money. So you have what you call short-term investment. You have mid-range investment, and you have long-term investment, okay? So short-term investment are things that will gain you speed and traction on a current project or in your business right now, in the moment within the next few weeks to month to uh, six months, if you will, okay? That's kind of your short range investment, okay? Your mid range investment is things that are going to take and help you within the next one to five years, okay? That's mid range investment. And now depending on how old you are, uh, you know, with the facts of life, this may be long range investment. I mean, if you're 80 years old, you know, or something, you know, 90 years old or something, maybe you're not doing so great, then, you know, five years might be a lot of time as it is for us all. Um, when you're younger, it doesn't seem like five years is that big of a deal. You get older, it is a big deal. Five years can go like that on you. Uh, so, again, mid-range investing is anywhere from about a year to five years, okay? And then the last portion of it is long-term investments. That's things that you're doing now that you won't necessarily see any sort of dividends on or payout for the next, you know, 10 to 20 years. And uh, that's, that's kind of hard to see that far out in advance. And it's kind of hard to see that far out in advance if you're not doing short-term, mid-range, and then focusing on long-term in, in the meanwhile. So if you've got your short-term and your mid-range taken care of, your long-term will take care of itself, uh, usually in general. So where people make the mistake is sometimes people just use the excuse of, hey, you got to spend money to make money, and they spend more money than they have, to make money they don't have on a false hope that they will get money out of that investment. And no investment is ever a sure bet. And it is kind of like high stakes gambling in a way. Uh, you, you are not going to always uh, turn around and turnkey that investment. And so it's gonna come back and not work out for you. So in the shop, this can look like a couple things. So for instance, building a building, okay? And maybe it's not your, sh dream shop but maybe it's just enough to get the wind the rain and the things off you and it stops your materials from rusting before you can make beautiful things out of them that would be a short range investment depending on how much you spent on that building and how long you plan on staying there that makes it whether it's a short or a medium range uh, investment so um, again that's that's something it all depends on perspective of where you're at personally in your time speaking of that I'll let you all know let me know where you're at in that journey in your business down in the comment section down below I would love to take and hear from you so finally okay I'm going to show where short-term investing uh, can help out that whole that's where most people get the ideal of spending money to make money so let's say in this instance, I just made uh, five pairs of tongs for a guy that is going to trade me a mechanical iron worker for these five pairs of tongs. Now this is the old lever type, got to pull on levers. And so it's a short term investment, see? So I didn't spend a lot of time on the tongs. I did make them, I made a very nice set of tongs for the guy. Um, did I need that? Do I need the logistics of getting it and finding a place to put it in my shop and all that other stuff? Not technically, okay? but my mid-range goal with it is to create more YouTube videos on it, how I'm going to turn it over to a pneumatic uh, operated uh, iron worker, okay? And so I'm going to get some videos out of that, which will in turn give me some money and, you know, kind of back and forth like that. Um, also, it will help speed up productivity of whenever I just need a bar cut off and say I'm going to whip out a bandsaw or this or that and just stick a bar in it and step on the pedal. Ka-ching! Off the bar gets cut, right? So that's a nice little short, that's a nice short-term investment now that'll 
gain me in the medium time. Long term, it's probably not going to matter over 25 years, okay? Uh, whether I got it or I didn't get it. So therefore, that doesn't matter. But in the short term gain, uh, there's a lot of gain to be had there. So it's worth my time and energy to invest in that way, if that makes sense to you. Uh, you know, once again, if you need me to go over some more of this in the comment, you know, just go in the comment section down below and comment. And if I have to make another video, I can try to explain a little bit more of my ideology, my thought process behind this. So midterm, mid-range stuff for me personally is buying like bigger stuff. So uh, power hammers, um, you know, grinders that are more efficient, buffers, welders, plasma cutters, better forges, like that type stuff, anvils. Uh, those are kind of like middle of the road investments. Those are medium range investments that will pan out for those long term goals. So they will allow me to make better uh, products. They will allow me to be more efficient. They'll allow me to save these puppies right here, your hands and your digits and things like that, provided you don't get them into the machinery. And so that'll give you the mid range uh, investment will help with your long range goals. Okay. And so that's a much bigger purchases. They take longer to acquire. Uh, that's why they're a medium range thing, building a bigger shop to house these new tools. Once again, it is a mid range goal for a long term investment right there. Okay. You get those done, you get that mid range investment done and it helps you with your long range investment. Okay. And then the last but not least is that long-term investment. And that's things like saving up for when you can't work anymore. That can be, uh, actually that could be done a lot of different ways. You know, the common thing is to obviously save for retirement, put back every month a certain dollar amount or back every paycheck a certain dollar amount into retirement and invest that way. And that's a very wise and a very proven method of doing it. But in the day and age that we work, that we live now, there's also other ways that you can do that. You can increase your ingo. That means you can increase the amount of revenue streams or little businesses and startups you have. You can have a part of these things for a small amount. You know, maybe you get on with a guy who's starting up a restaurant and, you know, for a small amount of money, you know, you just help him create his brochures or something, right? Or his flyers for his restaurant. And out of that, you know, he says, hey, for every burger I sell, I'll give you a buck or something, you know, or whatever. And we'll name it after you since you gave up all this value up front. That's a long term investment goal. But say that business is still around in 25, 30 years, and now it's a multi million dollar business, okay? Now you've got this, now you've got this long-term investment that is starting to pay off in big ways, okay? And so that's another way that you can do it. That is a little bit more of a roll of the dice. Again, the stock market, it's not everything, but you, those are kind of, it's kind of picturing long-term things. So maybe you create something in blacksmithing. Maybe you teach uh, and you'll live on in, in effigy in the students and the people that you had impact on. Those are long-range investments. It doesn't always apply to money. Uh, but at any of these junctures, and here's the main point of this, uh, at any of these junctures, it does take your effort, your time, your capital to invest in these things. That's what investing means. You have got to invest something of yourself, your time, your resources, uh, you know, into whatever it is that you're hoping to see blossom and grow and, and uh, you, you know, go on and go forth, right? Okay, so that's, that's kind of the whole thoughts that I wanted to take and share on this. I really hope you all enjoyed it. This video has went on long enough. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you disliked it, go ahead and give it that thumbs down. You probably already did. I greatly appreciate every last one of you anyhow with the feedback and the things that I've been getting in the comment sections uh, and with the likes and dislike buttons. Uh, good for that. So that's it for today. I just wanted to share that with me, with you. Let me know what you think and uh, share with me what you do for investing. Uh, for your future of your shop and uh, do you really is the whole thing of you got to spend money to make money is that something you live by so that's it for today like i always say god bless you and we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching